Are you planning a trip to Italy and are looking to visit Ravenna? Well, stick around because today we're going to tell you all you need to know to visit this incredible Italian city. Stay tuned! Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we'll tell you all you need to know about Ravenna, Italy. But first, if you like travel related videos like this one, now is a great time to the subscribe button so you never miss any future videos. Also, this video is brought to you by ReadySetItaly.com, a website where you can find all the information you need for your next trip to Italy. All right, so let's begin. Where is Ravenna? Yeah, well, where is Ravenna? Ravenna is located in the Emilia-Romagna region on the Adriatic coast. It's located 72 kilometers east of Bologna, 144 kilometers south of Venice, and 351 kilometers northeast of Rome. Now, the best way to get to Ravenna is by train. You can start from Bologna, and the train takes a little over an hour to get to Ravenna. Ravenna also has a commercial port, and some cruise lines also stop there. What is Ravenna famous for? Ravenna was the last capital city of the Western Roman Empire, from 408 AD, when the Emperor Honorius transferred the capital from Rome. The transfer was because the city was easier to defend from the barbarian invasion than Rome, because Ravenna was surrounded by marshes and ponds. Hmm. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, Zeno, the Emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire, sent Theodoric the Great, King of the Ostrogoths, to reconquer Italy. After Theodoric succeeded, he used Ravenna as his capital and enriched the city with some amazing churches. And that there are. Now, these historical reasons made Ravenna world famous for its Byzantine churches, magnificently decorated with mosaics. In fact, Ravenna is always known as the city of mosaics. Mm -hmm. So, how do you move around Ravenna? Well, look, Ravenna is a very walkable city. Most of the attractions in the city are just a few steps away from each other. You can visit the whole city in just one day, but if you really want to experience everything that Ravenna has to offer, consider spending a night in this beautiful ancient city. Or just outside, by the, by the ocean. Mm. What to visit in Ravenna? As we mentioned before, Ravenna has some of the most magnificent examples of Byzantine churches in the world. Some as old as the 6th century AD. So let's explore them together, and begin with the Neonian Baptistry. This small building is next to the Duomo of Ravenna, and the Bishop Palace. It is also known as the Baptistry of the, of the Orthodox. It was built in the 5th century and beautifully decorated by Bishop Neon whilst with stunning mosaics. In the dome, you can admire the mosaic of St. John the Baptist, who is baptizing Jesus, surrounded by the Twelve Apostles. No need to say this incredible monument is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> like many. Alright, so next you can visit the San Vitale. From the baptistry, you can walk about 10 minutes through the beautiful streets of Ravenna, and you'll arrive at the Basilica of San Vitale. This church was commissioned by the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian in the 6th century AD. From the outside, it doesn't look very impressive, but just wait till you go inside. There your jaw will drop. The interior is decorated with some of the most magnificent mosaics in Italy. It's remarkable to think that you're walking on centuries-old intricate mosaics. And now we move to the Galla Placidia Mausoleum. This very small building is right next to the Basilica of San Vitale. Again, from the outside it looks pretty bare, but once inside you will be stunned by the fantastic mosaics. It is remarkable to think that this building is perfectly preserved for more than 1500 years. 
It was dedicated to Galla Placidia, the daughter of the Emperor Theodosius I. <laughs> okay, so next we have the Santa Apollinare Nuovo. This basilica is about a 15-minute walk from San Vitale. The church was commissioned by King Theodoric, the Ostrogoth, in the 6th century, representing an incredible example of Roman barbarian architecture. Inside, you'll be able to admire some more stunning mosaics with an incredible amount of detail. A few steps away from the basilica, you can also admire the remains of the palace of King Theodoric. You can visit and admire all four beautiful churches by buying one single ticket that covers them all, and at the time of recording they cost about €10.50. We will leave a link in the description below on how to buy the ticket. Remember that to visit the Mausoleum of Gala Placidia you have to reserve a time slot, because it's very small and only a few people at the time are allowed inside simultaneously. Uh, good point. So, however, if you really want to enjoy and have a better understanding of the latest day of the Roman Empire and its art, we strongly recommend you to book a guided tour of Ravenna. Hmm? We also leave a link in the description below on how to book a guided tour. All right, so not too far away from San Vitale, there's another amazing place that you have to visit. And that's the Domus dei Tappetti di Pietra. From outside, it looks like a small church, but in the basement, hmm, you're going to find an incredible archaeological site that was discovered just a few years ago. Now, on the site, you can admire the floors of a perfectly preserved Roman villa. And there, you'll admire these amazing mosaics on the floors of a wealthy Roman home. And you can buy the, vi the tickets on site, and at the time of the recording, the price is just 4 euros per person. The Tomb of Dante Alighieri. Another famous site in Ravenna is the tomb of the father of Italian language, the 14th century poet Dante Alighieri, famous for the Inferno, hmm. that died in Ravenna in the year 1321. The mausoleum is located by the Church of St. Francis in Ravenna, and it is totally free to visit. It's quite small, but it's actually you should pay a visit. Hmm. So Dante was the father of the Italian language? Yes, it was. Huh. Alright, so next up we have the Mausoleum of Theodoric the Great. On the northeast side of the city, and not too far away from the castle of Brancaleone, you'll find this incredible mausoleum of Theodoric the Great. The impressive stone mausoleum is famous because its dome is made from an enormous single piece of solid Istrian stone that weighs more than 230 tons. This humongous stone was quarried more than 400 kilometers away from Ravenna and was brought in place by land. The mausoleum is open in the morning and the tickets at the time of this recording costs just 4 euros per person. And then we have the Basilica of Santa Polnar in Classe. This impressive basilica is located about 7 kilometers outside the city center, on the site of the ancient Roman port of Classe. This church was built in the year 594 AD by Bishop Urcino. Once more, from the outside of the basilica is not very ornate, but once inside it's magnificently decorated with stunning mosaics. Well, we hope you this video inspired you to visit this beautiful ancient city of Ravenna. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, let us know below because we love to hear from you. Yeah, definitely. In the meantime, we'll see you in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.